Step number two, using custom materials. This especially applies to rendered views, but it can also apply to your 3D views. Um, you know, if you wanted to use realistic on a diagram, for example, and you can see the texture, then you want to have materials applied. What kind of separates the, the men from the boys in the rendering world, especially when you're using a program with like Revit, where you can essentially use default materials and create images. I mean, you can, you can just use the brick that's in there. You can use the CMU that's already set up. That's fine. But what really separates the, 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 the good from the great is applying and taking the time to make the materials what you want. We've all compromised in Revit before, right? We've all compromised by using materials that are already there. We've compromised by using crummy families from Revit City. You know, we've compromised our designs because of this, right? We, th there's plenty of times where we've done that. And so what I'm trying to say to you today is take the time to create custom materials and look for them and make them what you want. Don't be stuck with this stupid Revit um, CMU wall or that crazy uh, purpley Revit brick. Please change it to the brick that you want. So. The Rocky Mountain House, I talked about it before. This was actually one of the material boards that we put together. And you can see there's the landscape and on the top of the materials. These are actually the exact textures we use. We just put them on a board. And so what you can see is by putting all this together, it completely changes the image. Imagine if that if that rock was that, that crazy cultured stone in Revit. Imagine if this metal panel was one of the metals from Revit. Um, you know, the concrete, the wood, if all that stuff was defaulted from the Revit material, it wouldn't have the same look and feel. It wouldn't, it wouldn't be what we wanted it to be. So then you get these awesome renderings. Here's a rendering here of that same house. See how much of the rock adds to it? I mean, the field stone was all about it, right? The wood, even the wood material, if you look closely at the wood material, um, that's a custom material. It changes the game, right? Here's a, here's a rendering inside of a yoga room. Uh, you'll notice how important the materials are here. This is a Revit rendering. On the floor, you'll see the wood is custom. On the walls, you'll see that yellow color. It's kind of like that mustardy yellow color. That's all custom, custom materials, and it completely changes it. It creates the rendering that you want to create. A couple more images here. This is the living room of that same building, um, or the, the kitchen, dining room, and living room. And you can see how much the custom materials play into it. So I'm just going to run through a couple examples just to show you. Even this project here, this is a museum uh, competition that we went after. And uh, I mean, look, it's a box. The room is a freaking box, right? But the floor, is custom uh, polished concrete. The walls are a custom concrete uh, material. And then the, the roof is like a, uh, a frosted glass, so to speak. So it's three materials, but they're all custom. And look at how much nice of a, of a view you can make, how nice of an image you can make with it. A couple more uh, examples of some, some material. I, I wanted to show a bunch of renderings that had some really cool materials or, and, and some variety. And then even here, so uh, those, were, those were Revit and Lumion examples. This one's just a quick Enscape example. This was for virtual reality, believe it or not. Um, but this was huge because this was a, a NICU. This was a neonatal neonatal intensive intensive care unit. And um, uh, the whole thing here was to be able to see the materials in place as well as the rest of the space. But you can see how much they add to it. And again, this is in Revit. This is changing, uh, changing all the materials and actually creating your own custom materials. So what I want to do, just as the quick tip, um, you know, always, 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 uh, always use custom materials is obviously the tip, but I want to show you just quickly how I would sort of find the custom materials. We don't have time to get into applying them, creating the material stuff and all that. You know, I'll, um, I think if, 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 if you would take this away, at least um, creating the custom material is the first step. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to first show you uh, some of the examples of, oh, cool, I can share a tab. How neat. Let's see. Cool. So this this is one of the websites that I use for custom materials pretty often. The reason I like this website, it's called textures.com, um, is that it, there's there's a little bit of, of free access, so you can get some decent decent seamless materials for free. <clears throat> but there's also a premium um, premium access where you can get a few more materials. But they have some really 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 good um, seamless materials. So you can see down here, there's a bunch of materials. You go to concrete. Here's a whole bunch of different concretes. Um, if you want to go to floors, textures, so on and so forth. And they have a whole bunch of them. Now they're starting to create some 8K, 8K uh, materials, which is out of control, the quality of that. Um, but you can see that they have different levels for free and for premium content. But they have a really a, a lot of really, really good textures. The, the other area is simply Google. So um, let me flip over to my other tab here. So how do you search Google? Well, for, for textures, pretty simple. We go to google.com slash images. And the keyword here is, Let's say we're looking for stone, stone, seamless texture. 
keyword is seamless. You want to make sure you're starting with seamless. You can see we have a bunch of good stuff. Some of it may not be free. You have to pay attention to that, but some of it is. And so usually with seamless, you're, you're going to be able to get, um, get a, a pretty good idea. Um, and you'll probably get some pretty good results in, 